Hey guys, it is me, Wolfman1131 here, and welcome your face back to the Minecraft project. I got an amazing response from the last video I uploaded, the first video I uploaded from Super Bright Big Blue, and you know what? That that was really heartwarming. You know, I, you know, a little bit showed that uh, I don't I don't know how to take it. Like I take other uh, people hadn't seen my videos for a while, which was pretty evident when somebody posted it but before I saw the comment I was thinking people are just reacting well to it because it's on a good computer and I was gonna be like wow I was gonna feel so hurt but then I read the comment finally you haven't uploaded a video in a while and nice video and all that and I was like oh my god people care about my videos not just what computer it's on I that's really it's really really amazing and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for showing all your support. So I haven't been uploading recently. I've been extremely busy. I mean extremely busy with school and trying to get some help people move and you know, getting ready for spring to hit and it's like wow it's a lot. Anyways, I want to show you what I've got done, at least in here, since the last video. Oh, shit. It's a giveaway on the map. Well, anyways, I extended the tree fort quite a bit. I made it a lot bigger and a lot nicer than it was. Let's start off by, let's get a good outside view of the thing. I have to get kind of far away for it to work. Here we go. Yeah. Absolutely insanity. I got this done. And I'm, I'm surprised with how much I got done in all honesty. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. It's not supposed to look perfect because it's like rugged forest living kind of thing and as you see i also cleared out a huge area just so because all the trees were getting really annoying and getting in the way and stuff so but that was weird okay whatever um i'll show you upstairs i got i still see i didn't cheat anything in but this was a lot of work guys i mean a lot of work Jesus. Oh yeah, this is something I forgot to show you too. This is a big huge tree. I built this obviously myself. This doesn't naturally spawn. Because I don't have like better trees or anything installed yet. I'm planning on installing it, but right now this is good. Why is my frame rate dropping? But why? Here we go. Frame rate no frame rates doesn't like me. Anyways, let's just go and get up some what the hell? Oh yeah, okay, never mind. That was that's just a glitch with the shaders mod. Sonic Aether's unbelievable shaders. I think it's because I'm using a 1.7.10. And the only reason I'm using that one is I'm on Minecraft 1.8 and not much has changed. And secondly, because it has this it's shader pack I personally it's ultra shader pack for 1.7.10 I find a lot nicer like the other ones are really good and all but I mean this one has this ability walk around with a torch and it lights up around you like hell hello that is freaking sweet man I've been wanting to see that oh my god it glows experience points glow I've never played the shaders mod before. I've been wanting to, but I never had a powerful enough computer to do it. So use, I figured right now using Super Bright is a perfect opportunity to give it a shot. And you know what? It makes Minecraft an all, a whole new game. It honestly renews the life in the game and makes it feel like when I first started playing Minecraft. It makes me want to explore again and see the world and just... Just be in the world and experience the world. And that's uh, 
there's a better uh, better shot of the place at in the daytime. Yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty damn cool. I I think it's really really cool. There's a lot of work to get this done though. I got to actually make a trap door for here. Let me just do that quickly. And no, this doesn't spawn in this. This is from clearing out the area of trees. Because I know people love asking, you cheated? Did you cheat? Did you cheat? It's like, no, I did not. I'll even prove it to you. Um, I don't have any cheats enabled. Like, watch. I don't know if, like, Cheat somehow enabled. What the hell? I didn't click cheats on you though. Okay. That completely disproved my point. I'm sorry guys. Anyways, I did not use uh, creative mode for this. I did go and cut down a lot of trees. As you can see the area looks kind of bald. What the hell, man? How did... Why are cheats enabled? I disabled cheats when I created the world, didn't I? Okay, then. That's just really fucking weird. Sorry about that. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to disable it or whatever. Okay. See, I got a bed now and a furnace. Trying to find the wolf for a bit. It was a good pain in the ass. Travel and travel and travel. Good thing I have this mini map mod, or else I would have got lost trying. And over here, I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. I was thinking enchantment area, but the view is just so gorgeous. Let me just uh, snap. There. Got to take some snapshots of this. I've been taking a lot of snapshot na snapshots with, with the shaders mod on just because it's just so gorgeous and so beautiful. I don't want to pass up the opportunity. Because like look at it. Look at this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. I could technically just make this a giant platform, but then it wouldn't have character or shape to it. Mind you, if I did extend it out this one side and then make it feel a lot less shitty. Or extend it out to this point. Maybe. It's still a little bit of trial and error. Yeah, that gives me a bit more, you know, breathing area. A little bit more room to work with. I don't want to get too close to the pole because I don't want it connecting or anything. Because those are fence posts. And I like it having its airy feel. I know I'm going overkill with the lighting, but it's actually shocking how how little the lights the torches actually work with the shaders mod. Like sure you have the bonus you can walk around with the torch and it lights up around you, but the torches actually don't light up as much as they do in vanilla Minecraft. So, now what I'm not sure about yet is whether I want to make, uh, yeah, it's too low to make footings, isn't it? I was going to say make more footings, but I don't see why I need to. Maybe over here one footing, but oh, that's not a big deal right now. Another thing is, oh, I guess I already showed you this, but this is down in the mine. That's the mine area. And there's two ways you could go. You could go through there, which I go through there. And the creepy mine, which I really don't want to go to. I'm quite okay, honestly. <laughs> I don't like that place at all. I've been down there like once, and it's like, whoa. Whoa goes the creepy train. I'm getting out of here. I might have to go down there and at desperate points, so so. You might be seeing me being a complete and utter puss about it. But yeah, it's super creepy down there, so 
I really hope I don't have to wind up down there. And I'm smelting iron because I need I need to make some armor. How many? Okay, eight. So I'm gonna make a chest plate. So yeah, let's see how my character looks in the daylight. Eh. Look at that. It actually shines on the character. What is the world doing? Is disassembling around me. The deuce. Well, that certainly got weird. Okay, let's just not do that anymore. That got really freaking weird, really freaking fast. <laughs> Here's a little trick for ya. Going over here and dropping myself down, and it doesn't hurt because I'm only three blocks off the ground there. That's not really a trick, that's just me falling and not getting hurt. <laughs> Let's go adventuring because we can. Because now we have a map. There's a cave, not going there, not yet, don't need to, besides that's not much of an adventure that way. Pigs all around, look at the beautiful water, I love seeing this, like, every, I love coming across water with this shader pack, it's absolutely beautiful. Like this, it just makes the whole game, again, it makes the game feel like a brand new game. Like, it, up, it updates the look of the game. It brings it back to, like, it updates it. It makes it new again. It makes it feel like a recent release. Like, I don't I don't know how, in words how to describe how much of a change it actually makes to the game itself. But it does make quite the change. So, that's all I'm trying to really get across here is it does actually change the way the whole whole entire game feels and and honestly I love that there's a birch forest across the water not really wanting to go there though frames might drop for I may be rendering new world at some point so and the only reason why I'm getting a f not getting the highest frame rate is because I have everything on. Like I have moderately high settings with this, and I mean, I have no idea what that weird sound was. Let's kill some bunnies, because you know I like good old-fashioned bunny. Seriously, bunny meat is delicious. You have to try it. The glimmering sand. Oh, the sand glimmers in the... The sand glimmers in the light. Like, that is absolutely amazing. Uh-oh. Get one more bunny. All right, let's go. Where is home? Home is this way. Let's head out. Look how it looks when you're underwater. Oh my goodness gracious. This is... Oh my god. This game is so gorgeous now. I know, you may think I'm like overreacting. Like, jeez. Relax, Wolf, man. It's just shaders. It's like... I've never been able to run Minecraft with shaders mods before. So to be able to do so is a feat. It is a feat unlike any other for me. Looking the way it shines off the other animals is just gorgeous. Yay, there's moonlight out tonight, so that's good. All right, let's go. But let's go to sleep, and I'm gonna cut the video here, guys. The hell? Oh, that was <laughs> that's shadow. Jeez.
Jeez, Wolfman, why are you terrified of a shadow? I didn't know it was a shadow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the commentary, slap that like button, punch subscribe in the face. We could always use a new member of the Wolf Pack. As always, love your faces, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It is absolutely outstanding, especially recently. Signing out, Wolfman1131, and adios.